It's the bald and the beautiful. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. All right, let us begin with Luke Bryan, who has tested positive for COVID. Uh, no American Idol last night, no ACMs this Sunday. He did pre tape a segment for the ACMs, but doesn't look like they're going to air it because now everyone knows he's out with COVID. It just doesn't make sense. It, it would look ridiculous, kind of. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see if they actually go through with that and uh, put that on. Um, interesting stuff going on around Nashville. Fans of Morgan Wallen have put up six billboards with his face on it and all sorts of stuff um, as they approach the ACMs, supporting him in what should have been a big year award-wise for Morgan. A lot of billboards up there. His fans have uh, decided to put some money together and support him. Dolly Parton's Ice Cream. Remember that ice cream company put out a, a pint in, you know, uh, I don't know what, what was in it. I'm not sure exactly what flavor it is. But anyway, there's there's Dolly Ice Cream. It sold out immediately. The pints are going for $1,000 each on eBay. No thanks. I'm good. I'm, I'll go get my briars. I'm good. Uh, Macaulay Culkin and Brenda Song had a baby boy. They named it Dakota in honor of Macaulay's late sister. Macklemore back in the news. Hasn't had a hit in a while, I don't believe, but Macklemore and his wife expecting their third child. Julian Edelman, the great wide receiver of the New England Patriots. Whether you, whether you love the Patriots or not, I am not a Patriot lover. I'm a Patriot hater, but uh, Julian Edelman, one of the toughest wide receivers ever to play the game. Uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, and Tom Brady wrote a tribute to him and uh, some others as well. Britt Reed, the son of Andy Reed, the coach of the Kansas City Chiefs. Remember, Britt Reed, before the Super Bowl, uh, was charged with felony DWI. Well, they just charged him with that. Remember, he was under the influence and uh, was driving at a high rate of speed and critically injured a five year old girl and others. Uh, he has now officially been charged with felony DWI, faces one to seven years. Seven years is the maximum. Um, you know what? The, he deserves more than that. Um, I, I hope they, uh, you know, figure out a way to make sure he uh, he goes away and and pays for what he's done. And this is not his first incident. And it's just it absolutely uh, horrific. Feel so bad for that family. And Ron Howard's brother, Clint, and he are putting together a joint memoir. Yes, Ron Howard and his brother uh, decided, you know, let's put out a book together. It'll be more fun. So a joint memoir uh, about the two of them growing up in Hollywood and uh, their whole life and everything. And interesting. TV tonight, This Is Us. That's what I'll give you. This Is Us fans, a new episode. You know that that's not always an occurrence every Tuesday. Uh, there is a brand new This Is Us tonight don't know how many more as usually they wind down by the end of april or first week of may uh they usually stop these shows a couple weeks before memorial day so uh probably not too many left here on this season so enjoy it my country 96.1 fathead and candy in the morning weekdays 6 to 10 a.m on my country 96.1